For today's video, we're gonna try out the new Chaos Agent Soldier. Oh, Chaos. I'm an agent of chaos. <laughs> You'll be able to get them as a reward after you complete the lab dungeon three times. If you don't have the lab dungeon unlocked, then just complete a level 88 crypts and you should have it unlocked after that. But that's how you get them, just complete the lab dungeon three times. Anyways, here's what he looks like before you upgrade him. All right, so we just maxed him out. And the only accessory we got was this back bling, and we got that after the first evolution. So this is what he looks like when he's fully upgraded. When it comes to his abilities, he has Lefty and Righty, Frag Grenade, and War Cry. And for a standard perk, he has Quick Fingers, which makes you reload your equipped weapon whenever you use an ability. And his commander perk does the same thing, but also gives you a chance to summon a phantasm based on how empty the clip was with a cap of 80%. So with that being said, I kind of feel like he would be best in your support team instead of commander, but we're going to go ahead and try him out anyways. When it comes to our loadout, we're going to use the Happy Holidays team perk. For our support team, we have Beetle Jess, Ranger Deadeye, Bulletstorm Jonesy, Crackshot, and Light Show Spitfire. And the mission we're going to do is this power level 140, repair the shelter, and Cookies is going to be helping us out. So before we jump into the gameplay, the first thing I want to do is see what he sounds like. Enemies are shit! <laughs> sounds like chaos in here. He kind of sounds like Bane a little bit. Let's spread some chaos! Large enemy ahead! Airborne enemies detected! Yes, fascinating. Smasher! Stay alert! Ugh, I hate their little hands. Hot to be Hello, little blueprints. Danger comes from above. Chaos doesn't like being smashed. How would you know you don't like it? Unless you tried it. That is impossible. No, no, no. I'm afraid not. No can do. That won't do. Don't get smashed now. My health is low. I also want to show an example of his standard and commander perk. So right now we're using an AR and we got 41 rounds in the magazine. So the way that works is instead of reloading, you can just use an ability like say a grenade and that way it'll automatically reload. And as you can see, we're back to 41 rounds after throwing a grenade. So that's what it looks like with an AR. See, we got 130 rounds. When the magazine's full, and then when we throw a grenade, it goes back to 130 rounds. So it works with LMGs as well. Let's go ahead and try with SMGs. Normally we got 65 rounds, then we throw a grenade and it goes back to 65. So it works with SMGs as well. It looks like it also works the same way with pistols. And the thing I noticed is that uh, his hands light up whenever it triggers. Okay, so it works with uh, snipers that only have one round in the magazine. Oh, just teleported there. But yeah, as you can see, it also works with rocket launchers. Uh, it also works with sniper rifles. And it looks like it also works with bows as well. It also works with grenade launchers. That is impossible. I also want to try it with a weapon that has heat capacity and cooling speed. So we're gonna try this the Atomizer 9000. Uh, normally you get one, two, three, four. Before you have to do the reload animation, let's see with this one, we do one, two, three, four, throw a grenade. And nope, it doesn't work, okay. So it doesn't look like it works with weapons that have heat capacity and cooling speed. And last up, I want to try it with shotguns. And first, we're going to try the Dragon's Breath. And the reason I want to try this one is because it reloads the entire magazine when you reload it. So let's go ahead and try this one out. And you throw a grenade, and it reloaded the entire magazine. I also want to try it with a shotgun that reloads individual shells instead of a magazine like the Ground Pounder. So with this one, let's see if this one works. Throw a grenade, and it did not reload our entire magazine. 
So it doesn't look like his standard perk works when it comes to shotguns that you have to reload each shell individually. When you use an ability, it only reloads one of those shells. So you're probably not gonna wanna use it with these type of shotguns. But yeah, that's what his standard perk looks like uh, with different types of weapons. Keep in mind, he can also summon a phantasm and that sort of depends on how empty your clip is. The more empty it is when you use your ability, the greater chance you have to summon a phantasm. Uh, one thing I should point out though, is that it does not work with the trick and treat team perk. But yeah, that's what his standard and commander perk looks like. I can get a shot at chaos, sir. I'm not here to stab you this time, Chaos. Now, you're not going to be able to deal as much damage with weapons compared to some other heroes. But I do want to go ahead and show what he can do versus power level 132 Miss Monsters. And first, we're going to start off with this Smasher. And the weapon we're using while we test it is this power level 130 Bobcat. So let's go ahead and try it out. Uh, the reason we chose to use a Bobcat is because it has a large magazine and a slow reload speed which I think is perfect for Chaos Agent. But yeah, that's what it looks like against the Power Level 132 Smasher. Uh, let's go ahead and try it out against this Blaster next. And last up, we'll try it out against the Taker. So like I said, probably not the best hero to use when it comes to damage per shot, but still wanted to show what he looked like for those who wanted to see it. All right, let's go ahead and start the mission. All right, so it looks like we got Blasters. Uh, pitchers, gunslingers. First, let's start off with uh, our Bobcat. And this is a physical one, by the way. But I also want to use a pot shot and the candy corn LMG. And I'm going to try to remember to use our abilities as well whenever we need to reload. Because I feel like it's going to sort of be like a. a a hard habit to break, like reloading. So I'm gonna try to remember to do it whenever we need to. No, no, no. All right, let's go throw another grenade. So far, we haven't like actually needed to wait on any of our abilities. Usually, by the time we run out of ammo, we we got another grenade available. And I do need to be careful here. I was going to change my loadout and add Birthday Jonesy, but I sort of forgot to. So we'll, we'll just have to be careful here. It looks like the mini boss is out already. Alright, let's throw another grenade. And I may use my war cry here. I think that would be smart. Let's go ahead and use it. Okay, these. Oh, he smoked screen. He smoked screen. Uh, Cookie, we got a smoke screen modifier on the mini boss. Yep, 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 yep. I got a uh, melee weapon. Sweet. I put my slow field on him. Yep. I wanted to use the SMG, but damn it. Yeah, it, it, yeah it's not going to work. All right, so another no, grenade. Fine. Uh oh. Oh, wait. It didn't work that time. What? It didn't I don't know work what's going time. on. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this. Be careful. I only got propanes. Yep, and I'm about to take some damage too. Where are you? I gotta heal first too. Uh, yeah, just try to get the mini boss if you can. I'm gonna use my lefty and righty. Got it. Uh, I'll open it up, Cookie. Oh, oh shoot. Nope. A second. Oh shoot. Damn, I didn't even. Don't don't worry about it. So when it comes to Chaos Agent, I would say he's after we tested him for about an hour. He's probably gonna be best to use him with. Uh, weapons that have either large magazines, slow reload times, or you can use it with heroes that buff like certain weapons and have abilities that have short cooldowns. So a good example of that would be like an Outlander that buffs SMG or pistol damage and you can use their uh, phase shift to reload whenever you need to. So, mini boss is gone. All right, sweet. I sort of forgot he existed. <laughs> now, let's go ahead and use another uh, war cry. Uh, Cookie, did you hear his voice? No, I didn't hear his voice. What did it sound like? Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard it. 
Uh, he's, he's, yeah, he sort of sounds like Bane from Batman a little bit, in my uh -oh. opinion. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I probably won't use him as a commander that often, but I could see myself yeah, using him in my support, especially with the with Outlanders like Ranger Deadeye or Beetlejuice. No, I almost forgot to do it again. Yeah, I mean, it is going to take a little bit of getting used to, though. Like, using your abilities to reload. But yeah, that'll do it for our first Chaos Agent gameplay. For those of you who have tried them, let us know what kind of loadouts you all came up with. And let us know what you all think about them. Alright, so we ended up getting a level 4 loot chest. With some legendary perk up, schematic XP and gold. We also got Fleetfoot Ken, as well as legendary perk up and candy. We also got some Eye of the Storm and some gold. Anyways, that'll do it for this one. Hope y'all found the video useful, and thanks for watching.